Hello everybody. Lloyd here again. Welcome back to the asylum. In my last video, you got to hear my friend Kurt telling all about the chopper that he and his other friend Danny had restored in memory of their friend Jimmy. It's funny thing about motorcycles. Motorcycles turn strangers into friends and friends into brothers and sisters. People that don't ride may not get that. But that's okay. We all love them. Now I'd like to share with you the story of another tribute bike. This one belongs to a man who got it from a friend. They, him and his friend had both had the Kawasaki 900s when they were younger. And my friend Mike, my brother Mike, we're in the same club together. He bought his friend's bike back and fully restored it. His friend got to see it partially done before he passed on. So Mike has the fully restored bike and he takes it and he shows it. And it was an amazing transformation. As you can see by looking at the uh, photo of the rusty pile of junk that I showed you at the beginning of this video. But anyhow, watch and listen as Mike Montague tells the story of his 75 Kawasaki Z1B. Z1B that belongs to my friend Mike Montague. Anyhow, Mike, tell us a story about this bike. I know it started out pretty rough. Yeah, so this bike, uh, me and my buddy bought matching Kawasaki 900s on uh, July the 3rd, 1975, and this is the one that he had. Unfortunately, uh, when I found it uh, after 20-some uh, years out in the woods, uh, I pulled it home and thought, well, it's too far gone to restore. But I decided to start taking it apart and taking pictures of it and that type of stuff. And so after a four and a half year restoration, uh, this is the end result. Um, basically all the parts are either new or refurbished. Uh, also the engine has been gone through, it's back totally stock. A uh, guy up in Ohio rebuilt the engine uh, back to stock specifications. And after four years, this is the outcome that I really desired. And I've taken it to many shows throughout the East Coast. A lot of them are uh, our VJMC shows. And uh, fortunately, it's a first place winner in, in, in the shows that I take it to. So it's been a labor of love. And while I was restoring it, my buddy passed away with pancreatic cancer. He was the original owner of it. And uh, he didn't get to see it completed. However, uh, he did get to see a lot of it, the parts and the frame and the engine after it was rebuilt and so forth. So I've been showing it for about six years now and um, it's done very well in the shows that I've had it in. And uh, it's just one of those things that has a lot of sentimental value to it. Well, I appreciate you telling us about it today. I'm on get the camera and take a close-up look at it and I appreciate your time Mike right, and I appreciate you your story too I love a good story folks when I say 99.9 .9 point this is what you're talking about there are a lot of people that claim they have 99 point motorcycles. In reality, there is no such thing, but this is as close to perfect as you'll get. I hope you all enjoyed hearing that story and seeing that bike as much as I did. It's just a prime example of how motorcycles and the people we meet through them touch our lives and change our outlooks. But anyhow, that's it for this week. Have a good time. Be nice to each other. Keep riding, keep wrenching, and stay crazy.